Hello, today I'm going to unbox this uh, two-track HO scale viaduct set made by Fowler. The kit number is 120465 and it is a stone construction viaduct for two tracks. It should look something like this. I've been waiting for this one for quite a while because it is what has been holding me up from uh, putting down the, my track. I was unable to find out uh, online to my satisfaction just how wide this bridge actually is. So um, until I have it in my hand, I'm not going to lay down the track. So without any further uh, delay, let's open this up. All right, so the plastic is off. We have the cover here. This is what I found online, these dimensions, but it just wasn't precise enough for me to confidently lay my track down. Um, miniature rolls at their best, everything's in there. Everything except glue, I assume. By the way, this box is pretty heavy. This is a big kit. We have the instruction booklet. for the pillars. Everything's kind of a drab gray. I'm gonna have to learn how to do some weathering on these. And this I was reading in the manual is pretty interesting. Um, this is gonna become the portal and you're gonna curve it to fit inside here. And to accomplish that, they want you to put this in the oven. So, I, for some reason, think that that's going to be a whole video on its own. But anyway, so everything is in here. And then we also have some pieces to, some pieces to connect together. And then railings for the side. So it's not a terribly difficult or complicated kit, but it does have a lot of pieces. Um, let me show you what I was doing with the, the track width to put it into perspective. So this is the piece that I didn't want to proceed without um, just based on the drawings that I saw online weren't clear enough but this is how wide this is and so there's plenty of room to put the tracks in different uh, in different widths. I'm gonna go with the default Marklin spec because it's coming right out of a turn there and the radius there is going to determine how far apart they can be and then these portals are going to go right here it's going to be two of them one here and one here like that and that's going to be um, my next project, now that I have this, I can put the track down and I can install these things. One of the reasons why I chose the Trix track is pretty much because it's made by Marklin and it guarantees that most things that are going to be made by other manufacturers are going to be catering towards, um, catering towards the Marklin track. So it makes things a little bit more standardized. So this concludes this unboxing video. Uh, construction is obviously going to be a completely separate uh, issue. Uh, if I am successful at that, I will certainly uh, put a video of that online as well. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye bye.